Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're entering the world of storytelling, and I'm going to give you Spike Lee's storytelling hack. Have you ever heard of Spike Lee before? I'm sure you have. I know you've seen one of those NBA games, uh, more specifically, a New York Knicks game, and you saw that one tiny dude uh, with colored glasses yelling at the referees, yelling at the players. And you're thinking, who is this guy? He looks so strange. I mean, is he some sort of celebrity? I've never seen him in a movie. That's correct. You probably didn't see him in a lot of movies, but he was the person that was creating the movies. Spike Lee is one of the most famous filmmakers of our generation. And here's his simple formula in order to create a better stories. You need to have two different characters who have different opinions. And both of these individuals believe that they're right. They logically can explain their positions and they can logically break down the other person's positions. And I'm sure you don't even have to look at stories in order to see this dynamic. You could think about your life. Recall the last time you had a very heated argument. It could be about politics. It could be about religion. It could be about your life choices. And as you were over here getting into an ar argument with this other person, in your mind, you're thinking, why can you not understand my logic? I am systematically breaking down my uh, way of thinking, and here you are uh, digging your heels further into the ground. Want to know something? This other person is thinking the same exact thing about you. They're thinking, I'm over here using so much logic on this guy, and he's still being st so stubborn. This dynamic is amazing for stories because it uh, is not even really storytelling anymore. It's just shedding light into life. And back to the Spike Lee example. When Spike Lee is over here yelling at these referees, you want to know something? He truly believes his position. He believes that the referee made the incorrect call. But want to know something else? The referee feels as though that Spike Lee is being unprofessional that he's not being a good fan and he's overstepping boundaries. In that dynamic of having two characters who vehemently believe their position is where tension is created. So try this exercise out for yourself. I just take a pause and rather than trying to create characters out of the abyss, I just look at your own life. When was the last time you got into a heated debate? A debate where both sides, they were not yielding at all. You thought you were 100% right, and they thought they were 100% right. Just bring your awareness to that dynamic and bring more details up front. Were you really being logical? Were you being emotional? Do you see some logic behind that other person's stance now that you are removed from the moment? The more that you think about this, the more that you set up a tension-free process when you're creating a characters with strong opinions of themselves. So try out this exercise, and if you would like more storytelling insights to level up your narrative game, uh, be sure to check out The Art and Science of Storytelling. Uh, this book is going to teach you how to use tension towards your advantage, how to effectively present information, how to create stories that have meaningful life lessons buried within them, along with plenty of other topics. Get the art and science of storytelling in the link in the description box, the pinned comment, or go on ArmaniTalks.com and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I will catch you next time.